guys, it is Miracle Girl Chewing Gum, but I want to talk to you about something that I have been um, contemplating for quite a while, and I think it all, it's been in the back of my mind for a long time, but ever since the, the Cecil the Lion incident, it kind of has got me really thinking about my lifestyle, what I eat, what I put on my skin and my hair. Um, so I kind of, uh, just out of the blue one day I went on to PETA.org, I think, or .com, can't remember. And it really kind of, I mean, I have to stop because it really got me to just bawling my eyes out about the treatment of our animals. So did a lot of research continuing to do a lot of research and I have decided that I'm going to be going vegan. The difference between vegan and vegetarian, vegetarian is like no meat. Vegan is no meat, no dairy, no animal based products. That means for your body um, and also for your body. What like the beauty products, I cannot talk today. Beauty products, um, and also what you put in your body, the the eats. Sure, can't talk. Anyway, so what I'm doing is kind of doing a lot of a lot more research on the products that I buy. I've noticed that the majority of the products that I have in my home right now, because we are, my mom and I are, really weaning ourselves off of that um, because we don't we want we want to do this the smart way. And we really want to focus on pulling ourselves away from the things that are bad for us and also bad for the animal that has been mistreated. So we're going to, like I said, wean ourselves off. I called Mary Kay last week, I think, and asked them if they uh, test on animals. They said not in the U.S., but in China they have no... They're trying to get China not to test on animals, but you know, it's, it's a battle. So I've kind of marked Mary Kay out of my life. Uh, I still have a little bit left. Then I'm going to, uh, I found a couple of products that I want to buy and, and try that are, uh, cruelty free, which mom had said right now in this day and age, it's so much easier to be a vegetarian or a vegan you know, I, I love Morningstar, the, the brand. It's all, you know, uh, black bean burgers and meatless chicken strips and all that kind of stuff. And I enj I really enjoy their products. And then I want to venture out and try these other products that are really well known. So it really has never been like about the meat to me because I'm not really a big meat person like occasionally chicken or whatever, but it's been a lot about like the dairy. I'm like, I don't think I can do this. I love cheese. I love milk and sour cream and butter, but now they have options where there's dairy free butter, dairy free, um, cheese, there's soy yogurt, there's soy milk. So there's a lot to really taste test and try and it's just a trial and by error all that kind of stuff so finishing eating up what we have which is dwindling down and I'm very excited about going out and purchasing these things that are not not just healthy but make me feel better about what I am trying to stand for and I already have a couple people in my life that are like, you know, you, you start talking about that and they're like, they look at you like you have three heads, like you're stupid. And I know, I mean, I've been through this before with other aspects of my life and I'm like, you can do whatever you want to. Just, you know, if I don't judge you, don't judge me. And if you don't understand something, ask me instead of giving me that stupid look on your face kind of thing. But... Vegan, veganism, is that, is that the word? It is a very, um, great thing for me because I have, like I said, I have six cats 
why would I eat an animal and have an animal? It's just kind of like, you know, sort of where I, where my mentality is. So that's where I'm standing right now. We are just kind of starting to become vegan and really move out of the realm of unhealthy eating also. Because if you're a vegan, yeah, you can go out like I did today. I went to Denny's and got a um, vegan patty with pickles and tomato. And it was really, really good. But And you can do that when you go out. You can, you can get chicken fajitas without the chicken and do like a, a vegetable uh, quesadilla or fajita, whatever. You can do that. But I think it's going to save us in the long run because we're going to want to stay home and fix all these really awesome vegan recipes. So I'm really excited about that. I love, the older I get, I love cooking and baking. So I'm really excited about that aspect. And also it's cheaper it, to a certain extent. Like you can buy bulk size rice and um, lentils, beans, any, you know, pasta, whatever. You can do that and that'll really save on your costs of all that stuff. So we have half a gallon of milk in the refrigerator. Did you guys know if you go on PETA.org, you're, e you're eating, you're drinking 20% pus. Did you know that? That is disgusting to me. I'm a clean freak. I'm a neat freak. I don't want any pus in my body. So it's getting very difficult for me to like continue drinking the milk. I know I don't want to waste any money starting out. So I'm in trying to like use the milk in just different areas. That way we can just continue, you know, start going to the towards the soy milk. There's so many options, and I'm not trying to like get you guys to join the bandwagon, but for me, number one, and it is about the cruelty of animals. If you've seen videos, um, I have a I've started posting on my Facebook. It's just a conscious effort to be good, not just to humans, but to animals. They don't have a voice. So, um, that said, there is an, actually an app um, on my iPhone. I'm not sure. I think you can get it on any of the other ones, uh, all, all your other phones. It's called the Bunny Free app. And I think it's sponsored by PETA. And you can go out while you're grocery shopping or whatever and either scan the item or type the item in. Like, let's say, I use I used to use St. Ives. I'm almost out of it. I bought the brand Method, and you can order it online or get it at Target. Cruelty-free. Also have a detergent that we're going to start trying by The Honest Company. They're cruelty-free. So... You can type in like St. Ives and it'll tell you if they test on animals or not. And I think that app is absolutely wonderful. I just downloaded the PETA app, which I have not started using yet. But it gives you all the news and uh, updates on uh, like uh, McDonald's. I don't know if you guys heard about the con controversy with McDonald's. Tyson's Food has a bunch of farms all over the United States. And this one particular farm in Tennessee... If you watch the video on PETA, and if you have an ounce, like in your pinky, your thumb, whatever, if you have an ounce of sympathy for any animal, you will not, you won't eat chicken, okay? Uh, I know McDonald's has dropped this, uh, I think they dropped Tyson or this farmer, I can't remember, just Absolute, and these these chickens are diseased. We're eating sick chickens. Um, so think about that when you eat the chicken nuggets. Uh, I made a vow with the fast food industry. You could probably find like a you know like a vegan kind of thing. I'm not sure if I want to do the whole uh, fast food anymore. Especially McDonald's, you have no idea what they have in that crap. It's disgusting. Anyway, so am I ranting? Probably. But that is my choice in life right now, guys. Um, and I will keep you guys updated. Maybe um, share some recipes that I tried or kind of do a taste test on different um, brands of vegan kind of stuff. And that was my tablet, excuse me. 
So Cecil is looking at me, wanting attention. He's down there. Absolutely adorable. If you look at an animal, how can you justify the cruelty that we... Anyway, moving on. Long video again. If you like this video, click that subscribe button. Watch a miracle happen. Click that like button if you are for cruelty-free products. If you're for animals. Like, if you love animals like I do. So, I'll keep you guys posted. Keep you updated on everything that I'm doing. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Love you guys. And I will see you later. Bye.